Pastor Paul is a man of God, filled with the word of God. Yes. Pastor Paul is something else. Very loaded. It's, it's just too loaded. Yes, so you are right to let yourself. Hello. Sister ah. Rhoda. Sister Rhoda. Very, very transforming. In fact, Pastor Paul is a man of grace. Too loaded. Because I pray the Lord keep him to the end. Amen. And may he not lose his way back. Amen. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow again for another fresh encounter. Please don't be late though. Don't be late. Alright, thank you. Don't be late. Alright, bye. Bye bye, ma. God bless you. The girls to the family. <laughs> Pot. Calling her to black. Oh, my wonderful sister. Bye bye, ma. The girls to the family. Someone that needs the fire is telling us that he's already carrying the fire. That we should not be late. <laughs> She, she's so cold. Cold like frozen. <laughs> yes. Rod Attire. <laughs> Papa, how are you? That was a good production. Thank you, sir. The Lord bless you. Hey. Amen. 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 Ah. <laughs> oh, you are a blessing. Hope you were blessed. Highly blessed. We thank God. We thank God. Bravo. <laughs> pastor, pastor. Please, I, I don't know if we can see. Oh, what? you mean we should have a talk? Yes. Let's, let's, let's make you some that. Let's see if you don't mind. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Bye, Pastor. Bravo, bravo. Pastor, sir. So, Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're very glad to see the team Thank you, sir. You know, the way you dish out the word is extraordinary. In fact, you, you have been a channel of blessing to everybody in this local assembly. We we'll return all the glory back to God. <laughs> what well, you see, bro, so actually, yeah. every one of us is a blessing <laughs> in this local assembly. <laughs> Yes, and uh, you know, we need to return all the glory back to God for what He uses us to do for Him. You said everyone is a blessing. Of course, yes. Everybody is a blessing. Yes. What of Sister Ruda? Uh, whose spiritual fire is nothing to talk about. Uh, anytime she's teaching the word of God, can't you see that she's always boring? She's not entertaining. Hey, bro, please hold on, hold it. Please stop that. You and I need to learn from Sister Ruda's commitment, lifestyle, and life of humility. Do you know that this Sister Ruda of a person you are talking about has been an encouragement, a motivation, a challenge to me? Really? Well, she might not be able to stand up verbally and dish out the word the way God is helping some of us, but I'm telling you, she lives the word of God. She is a walking Bible. Really? Yes. Ah, ah. Sister Ruda. Yes. Yes and yes again, Professor. You know what? Sometimes I've been considering stepping aside and sitting down to study the life of Sister Ruda. I mean, a life of commitment, humility, generosity is a challenge to me. Can anyone Come near Sister Ruda and not be impacted positively. Really? Can you visit her in the house without you coming back with a gift? Ah, uh -uh. I mean, that sister is a blessing not only to this our assembly but to our generation. You know, many a times she comes to this assembly, you know, so early. She cleans the chairs. She 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 cleans the toilet, the conveniences. Pray before every one of us gets here. She is a blessing to our local assembly. And that's the truth. Eh? Yes. You know, let me shock you. There was this day I was discouraged, downcasted, depressed. In fact, I was about taking a wrong step which would ruin my life. And I was looking up to God. I didn't I was lost. I, I couldn't I couldn't just figure out what I, I would do. But you know what? What? My phone rang. And guess who called? Ooh. 
Sister Rhoda. Again? And then she told me that she has actually been praying for me for about two hours. And that God told her that I should keep my faith in Him and trust Him. That that situation I was in was going to be solved. My brother, that was a soothing bow Jesus. to my frayed nerves. As in, that call was an answer to my prayer. The same sister Aruda that I have crucified in my heart. She's now an intercessor. <laughs> you know what, Professor? Let's be truthful with ourselves. Let's be honest with ourselves. How many burdens have you and I lifted? How many lives have we interceded for sincerely in a secret place? Do we really live the life of the word we teach and we speak about? But Sister Rhoda, I'm telling you, she lives the life. Sister Rhoda might not be able to do amenetics and uh, exegesis very well, but she lives the Bible. Well, I teach the Bible actually. I teach the word, and I know God is helping me in my little capacity, but she has this grace. She lives the word. You need to seek the face of God for forgiveness, you know, for disdaining this daughter of Zion. This is ill speaking of a sister who the Lord is using so much, who the Lord is helping in the church and even outside the church. God forgive me. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, God. Sister need to forgive me. I've really, really, really crucified her in my heart. Hello everyone, I am Ashegun Uluyemi, your friend and your brother. I believe you were blessed by that short skit. I want to encourage us with the word of the Lord in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 1, which says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice, all guile, all evil speaking, unkind speech, let them be put aside from you as believers. And as newborn babes, we are asked to desire the sincere meat of the word of God that we may grow thereby. If you are a Christian and a believer and you have real time, I mean you study the word of God real time, you have an altar of prayer real time, this will help you so much to grow as a believer instead of going about with hypocrisy and lies and envies and unkind speech, evil speaking of believers and others around your neighborhood. I want you to pick up the lessons and the admonition from the skit we just saw now. And I want you to make amends if in one way or the other you are found wanting. If you want to give your life to Jesus, and you want to surrender your heart to you, you want to make him your personal Lord and Savior, wherever you are watching me now, you can as well bow down your heads and say these words of prayer after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge myself as a sinner. I know you came to die for me. I know I cannot save myself. I accept and believe in your salvation plan. Come into my heart right now. Wash me and make me clean by your blood. Write my name in the book of life and give me the power to go and sin no more. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. If you just said that prayer, then I say welcome to the kingdom of God. Welcome to the commonwealth of Zion. And keep on, keep up pressing with the Lord. Keep following the Lord. You can find a good Bible believing church with the help of the Holy Spirit and join in fellowship with the children of God. Till I come your way next time with another powerful skit. Stay blessed and God bless you.